let's uh, kind of jump into some stuff then, if you like. In the Facebook group, I posted a, a video today of a little kind of a project that I, I think I found it on YouTube. It was a little sample of a kind of neat trick that some guy posted, and I'll find the original and post the link in the replay probably, but uh, I'm just going to kind of step through it here. So it's this neat little image right here of a typewriter, and then he has like a typing font. And I thought this was uh, really kind of interesting because if you notice what happens is, you know, it does the, the one letter at a time for the text, but as it kind of moves behind this little um, typewriter deal here, it fades. So I uh, wanted to try to figure out how to do that, and I think I kind of came up with it. I'm just going to kind of touch on some of the concepts here. Again, I don't want to, like, overwhelm people too much because this is a whole bunch more advanced. So what I have here, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this because I saved it to my library. I guess what I can do is I will, I saved this little project and as you can see, you know, I did kind of a bunch of work on it uh, and I created a couple of custom images. I'm actually going to show you how to do that real quick uh, as part of my thought process on how I came up with the effect, but I saved it to my library, so let me make a note here. I will export this from my library and put it in with the replay, so you guys can grab this asset, and you won't have to go through all of the work that I'm going to go through to show you how I made it. You'll just be able to go in and modify the text. Does that sound okay? Okay, again, let's just lay this out a little bit. So here's an image and I think I got this from Pixels or Pixabay and I enlarged it a little bit so it just kind of showed this portion. Okay, so let's think about this a little bit. So basically what I want to have happen is that text animation that I just showed you how to do with a behavior, I want it to type kind of in this area right here as if it's being struck by the hammer the way a typewriter would work and then keep typing ah but here's that cool part <laughs> how did I get this to kinda go dim as it passes underneath this plastic piece right uh, so here's how I did that over here in PowerPoint here is that image, or here is the master image, okay? And what you'll notice is that, well, it, it's a, a solid, complete image. So you could probably imagine that if I just put this into Camtasia and put that text effect right here, what's going to happen when that text box starts to move over to here? Well, it's not going to be underneath this, is it? Because it, it's one solid image. So here's basically how I went and modified this. I'm going to kind of do this from scratch. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click on this and duplicate the slide. So I keep a master copy here. And next I'm going to go into insert a shape and I'm going to insert a freeform shape. So again, if we think about it, what I want to do is kind of cut this part out so that I can create a version where it will be on top of the text as it goes underneath in Camtasia, right? So just kind of follow with me here. I'm going to click, draw a line, click, and I'm just kind of clicking around this area right here. That part that I want to be kind of transparent once I get it into Camtasia. Go down to the bottom. There 
and I'll just finish it there. Okay, I'm going to take the outline off. And here's kind of the cool part. When you have a shape and a picture, I'm going to click on the picture, and now I'm going to hold my shift key and click on this shape. If I go to the format tab under drawing tools, we have this thing called merge shapes. So check this out. I'm going to go, and if you hover over these, it'll show you different uh, things that it's going to do. But I'm going to choose the fragment shapes. So basically, what it did was it cut this thing up so that now I have two images. This guy and this one that I'm going to pull pull off and do something else with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and save as a picture. Okay, and that's what I've done right here. And I'm also going to right click on this other piece and also save as picture. So that's going to be the right side of these two images. Okay, so hang with me here. And uh, you know what, let's uh, just kind of build that part from scratch also. So let's go to my media bin. Uh, let's just do this from drag and drop. Okay, here's my left side. And let's drop that in. And here's my right side. Let's drop that in. And clean us up a little bit. Okay, left side is we're going to have to resize this a little bit and drag it over so that it goes back into place. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's uh, grab our text typing and I'll paste that in. So again, this is just a text box that I created using the behaviors and the reveal and all that good stuff, right? But if I just put it on top, remember what's going to happen. Well, it's going to type on top of this. But what I want is for it to have that cool translucent effect. So here's how I'm going to get that. On this piece over here, let's copy it and let's paste it on top of the text. Oh, now it covers it up, but here's the secret sauce. Watch this. I'm going to change the opacity down to about 80% and boom. Now, See how cool that is? So it's a matter of thinking about layers. And what did I want to have happen? Well, I wanted that other piece to uh, be on top of this. And let's see, you might be asking why I didn't just change the opacity of both of these images here. So couldn't I have just changed the opacity of you know my box here and had the had it on top of the text well I could but watch what happens when I do that so it gets a little eh, a little washy washed out and stuff like that but by having two solid images okay it's always gonna look crisp and clear and the one on top is an exact copy but it's a little transparent. So it's going to show through, you know, the, the nice solid image underneath with the text in between, sandwiched in between. And then I just added a couple of animations uh, to, to kind of pull the whole thing off. Right? So that's uh, more of an advanced thing. 
because there's a couple of techniques that I use to kind of make it stay in this one spot with an animation and then I did the little carriage return effect <laughs> and stuff like that. All right, I don't want to get too much into that. I just thought it was kind of interesting and maybe you would, you know, learn a couple things about how to do something a little more creative with some images. Uh, in essence, just kind of figuring out and understanding what you want to have happen and then try to think of a way to make it so. And quite frankly, it didn't take me long to, f to think of it and figure it out because I kind of knew some of these basic concepts that I just showed you. Well, I can make a, you know, a, a little thing and make it transparent, okay, and just set it right over top. And that's kind of how I went about the process. Right.